Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Esther Mushemi once again. Last week, I had a rare opportunity of having a conversation with one of the top CEOs in this country. And after a brief introduction of what the agenda was, what caught me is his ability to reason. To be honest, 70% of the time, it is me who was talking, talking, and talking. In fact, it reached a point when I said, oh, by the way, I seem to be talking a lot. Maybe I should keep quiet and have you talk to me. And his response is, no, 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 Esther, keep going. But when I came out of that meeting, I asked myself, why is it that such a successful CEO would sit back and desire to only listen and hear what I was talking about. And I said, I think there is a secret in knowing and acknowledging the power in listening. Of course, that is something I have always known because personally, if you come to my office, and by the way, I am a very busy CEO, but if I allow you to get in my space, I will always attempt to listen to what you are talking about. Some people imagine that by listening, you are actually lowering your position. But one thing I know and I've concluded now, after listening to successful people, whether as entrepreneurs, whether as CEOs, whether as owners of businesses or other positions, is that when you listen, not only do you come out a better person, but you also put yourself into a position of learning. And when you put your position into learning, you can only become a better person. I remember one day, when my daughter who works with me came to my office. That's many years ago. And she told me, Mom, do you know you intimidate people? I've never ever thought about it. I had never ever thought about it. But now that is my daughter who was speaking to me, that caught my attention. And I sat back and allowed myself to listen to what she had to tell me. And tell you this, it had such a transformational impact in me that from then I'm very, very sensitive on the messages that I release to people that are close to me. The big question is, are you able to put yourself into a position where you get the communication that I'm releasing to you by me looking at you straight in your eyes. For you to be able to capture all these forms of communication, you must put yourself into a position that I want to listen what my CEO is saying. You must put yourself into a position that you want to hear what your workers are telling you, what your finance person is telling you, what your partner in that relationship that you treasure so much is actually telling you. And indeed, the wise have said and told us over time, the lesson you have two ears and one mouth is so that you can listen more with your two ears and speak less with your mouth. But indeed, human beings seem to be using their mouth much more than their ears. I hold a view 
that nature's way, God's way is we should listen more and talk less. If we do that, we will be able to relate better with our business partners, with our, 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 in our work environment, with our bosses, with our juniors, because life is about relationships. And you cannot ever create good relationship if you are not able to communicate and to receive communication in a better way. And therefore, today I want to challenge ourselves to be better listeners than talkers. This message is not only for the entrepreneurs, it's not only for those people who are in a work environment, but also for our politicians. We better all learn that there is power in listening. This is Dr. Esther Mushemi speaking. <laughs>